in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, about two months ago. Hmm. Prior to that, I, my wife introduced me to him on YouTube. And the spirit that the Lord has put within me has been a witness with this man of God. Yes. There are many prophets, and God uses people in whichever way pleases him. Yes. But the spirit that the Lord has put in me bear witness with this man. I can hardly call his name. I think it's Macanalisa. That's his name. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I'm here this evening to let you know I used to be an athlete and I used to play cricket and I was good. But about 20, 30 years ago, I had damaged this leg by running. I used to run a lot. I wasn't this big as you see me now. And I, I was about 200 pounds or about 275, 80. But I used to do 15, 20 miles, three days a week, and I had tore some ligamental muscles. I'm not a doctor, something went wrong. But after a period of time, I continued to run. But it bothered me for the last 30 years. And I saw the man in Texas, and he says, anyone here who has knee problem, come on out. And I, I think I hopped out and I ran out. I'm not, I would deny, I'm not a whole 100% from two months ago, but I'm about 90% with this same leg that used to bother me going to work and I had to take. I'm giving all God all the glory. Amen. I'm giving all the honor. Amen. I'm giving all the praise that somebody took time out in fasting, in praying, yes. in searching, in believing that I could be one that received help from the Most High God, Amen. through the man of God. Amen. Tonight I just want to encourage you, those of you who are in this church, it's a part of the same branch. Stay with Jesus. Amen. Those of us who come to visit, stay with Jesus. Amen. It is high time. The enemy now is like a Roman lion. Amen. He's seeking who he can devour because his time is very short. Amen. Make use of the word of the living God. None of us know not about tomorrow. Yes. We don't know what the next minute would be like. I could be talking to you now, and after I'm finished, that's it for me, I face eternity. But as long as my soul is with him, Amen. I shall rejoice. Amen. I want to be like an eagle. That when the trumpet sound, I can mount up as an eagle have wings. I don't want to be an eagle and then I got some chicken wings that I can't mount up. Tonight I want to encourage you to look up for your redemption right now. Trust in the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your might. And lean not on your own understanding and he will direct our path. Our wife will say whatever she has to say. Praise Lord, it's good to be in your presence today. I must tell you that God he is amazing. Um, I won't go into details, but I had some personal issues that weighed heavily on my heart, and I wanted to hear from God. And um, last year, I went home. I'm from Jamaica. I went to Jamaica, and I went to visit my mom. And so accidentally, I bumped into a prophetess. And I was supposed to meet someone and, on that trip. And it didn't work out. And she said to me, you know what? God had set that up, that that meeting did not go through. And of course, you know, it weighed on me, it weighed on me. I came back home and it still weighed on me. And I had the opportunity to speak with the man of God yesterday. And I tell you no lie, the first thing that he spoke about was that experience that I had. He, he was able to clarify for me word for word what that prophetess had told me. And so tonight, I just want to encourage you as people of God, whatever decisions that you are making, just ask God to stand at the forefront. And if you are going to make a bad choice or a wrong decision, believe me, he will send someone to stop you. He will send someone to correct you. And so tonight, all glory and all honor belongs to God. And I believe that whatever he has proclaimed or whatever was spoken over my life, it shall be established. And I say to you, whatever was proclaimed over your life, whenever I, I admonish you tonight, though the vision tarry, it shall come to pass. 